Hello, 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 everybody. I've got my cowboy hat and I'm ready to watch the Outlaws of Thunder Junction debut video. Let's see what the set has to offer. Kicking things off with the trailer. Nice. It's good to be wanted. It's such a good trailer. I love this trailer. They say keep your friends close and your enemies, and your enemies closer. closer. But on Thunder, but on Thunder Junction, Junction, friends and enemies are one, are one and the same. Oko is so cool. The ringleader. <laughs> it's really just like beautiful like Being an animation. More honest. <laughs> I really <laughs> She has like a gun. Annie Flash, the veteran. Chance also a gun. <laughs> and Braska's here. So hype. Just look at the like the level of detail here. Like they've got cool hats on. Well, you can't trust Hats. anyone to watch your back. At least you can pay them to. Rakdos looks so sick. The muscle. <laughs> and then Tiny Bones is like, ah! <laughs> uh, this reminds me of the thing from, like, Wednesday. Little hand from the Adams family. Kellen's just everywhere this these days. Land of opportunity. And if you take advantage... Oh, skeleton key, because he's a skeleton. Oh, genius. Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Woo! Here we go. Welcome to Thunder Junction. A rowdy town full of outlaws and crime. Oh my gosh, the setting is cool. Everything expect in Magic's first Western-themed card set. Oh, nice art. Thanks to the Omen Paths, outlaws are pouring into Thunder Junction pouring from all in. over the multiverse. <laughs> Riku! It used to be only special folks called Planeswalkers could do that. Silvala! Now, everybody's getting in Oh my action. gosh, this is so cool. I do mean everybody. Fibblefip! <laughs> Lost on the range! Things get rambunctious around these parts <laughs> with so many travelers from Looks all like over going to make their fortune. Or this art is stunning. Or a fortune that someone else already made. Undefeated Slickshot. Either way, <gasps> best watch your step. Everyone loves a good villain, and Thunder <laughs> Junction has no shortage of them. <laughs> Looks like it. In fact, we've got bad guys from every plane you can imagine. <laughs> Honest Rutstein is the villain. Old Rutstein is a, just a just normal like guy, and then Honest Rutstein. I, <laughs> old Rutstein is a card from Innistrad. That's super funny. And the leader of this group of miscreants is a troublemaker who is often on the wrong side of the law. The wrong side of the law. Oko. He rustled Oko. himself up a crew of the biggest and baddest outlaws from across the multiverse for a oh, heist yeah. he's planning. Ooh. He claims it's going to be the biggest job on any plane. Biggest job. He's got a big mouth. We'll see if he backs it up. <laughs> First up, so Small cool. But Mighty barely begins to cover this fella. <laughs> Small But Mighty. Tiny Bones, the pickpocket. One, one, one mana, one, one death touch. Already great stats for limited. When Tiny Bones the pickpocket deals combat damage to a player, you may cast target an online permanent card from that player's graveyard. And men of any type can be spent. Whoa! That's so sweet! That's like a Ragavan, but you get their graveyard instead of uh, their deck, and you don't get a treasure. Wow, that's so cool. It was going to be the greatest heist of his own life. Great flavor text. I love this artwork, too. The cowboy hat, this is sweet. Tiny Bones the pickpocket. Master thief and family man from the swamps of Urborg. <laughs> and family you don't man. Watch stuff around him, you'll find yourself left with nothing but your skin. <laughs> and being a skeleton and all, he might <sighs> help himself to that too. Next, he nabbed Annie Flash the veteran. She has Annie Flash the veteran. She's got this claw that turned looks like it was a gun in the trailer. So it's six mana, four or five flash. Nice. If you cast it, return a permanent with mana value three less from a graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Nice. When it comes tapped. Ooh, nice. So you can use it for Convoke, Crewing, or just attacking and get two extra cards. Really sweet. And it's got Flash. So you can, like, play this end of turn, then untap, get some cards. This card looks sweet. Has one angelic eye that makes her a crack shot. But that's one about the only eye. thing about her you might describe as angelic. Wow, she that's a cool story. real bone to pick with, well, just about everyone. A bone to pick Sad with thing everyone. Is, she's the closest thing to a conscience in Oko's gang. Then again, <laughs> it's not exactly what you might call a high bar. Next, we got Vraska <laughs> the Silencer. Oh the my player. gosh, she's in a saloon. This is so cool. Three mana, three, three death touch. Nice. I love to see death touch here. 
When a non-token creature in opponent controls dies, you may pay one. If you do, return it to the battlefield tapped under your control. What? It's a treasure? So, and it loses all other card types. So basically, if it has a static ability, you can get it back. That's so cool. It's like collecting a bounty, because you collect the bounty and you just get the guy, like thing as a treasure. Wow. James Walker, former guild master, and currently one very dangerous Gorgon. Yep. I hear tell she's a double agent with an Oko's gang. What? I don't know for sure. That's another thing you ought to know about Thunder Junction. Loyalty's hard to come by. Oh, all the people around Finally, her are stones. There's the big guy. Rakdos. Rakdos. The oh my gosh. Five mana. Six five. Flying trample. When you sacrifice another creature, exile cards equal to its mana value from the top of target player's library. You can play those cards in mana. So you can exit from your opponent's library. That's cool. Sacrifice another creature. It gains indestructible. Oh my gosh. This card looks sweet. Demon Mercenary. Nice. Maybe you've heard about his cult back on Ravnica. His cult. The big guy himself makes pain circuses look like regular circuses. Anyway, <laughs> his reason for joining Oko's gang are pretty simple. He just wants some entertainment. Yep. By entertainment, I reckon he means beating the tar out of anyone in his way. Beating the if tar. Things go out of like Oko is hoping. He'll get his wish. You'll get his wish. Nothing says bad guy like a wanted poster. I love the wanted this posters. This new card style so cool. can be found on each member of Oko's crew. Which brings great. us to a new mechanic in Thunder Junction we call Outlaw. Outlaw. This is just great art. Full steam ahead. Love the artwork on this one. Assassins, mercenaries, pirates, rogues, and warlocks are all outlaws. Whoa. So there's like a new creature super type. Assassins, mercenaries, pirates, rogues, warlocks. Okay. They're not big on the law, but they're big on the opportunities Thunder Junction offers. Nice. They got plenty more here, too. Fibble Fip lost on the range. One blue blue ward two. You can look at the top card of your library. Has plot. The plot is equal to its mana cost. You may plot non-land cards from the top of your library. What does that mean? Now that you got the lay of the land, you're gonna want to do what everyone else. What does plot do? Is. Come up with a plot. Okay, here we go. Cards of the plot mechanic can be exiled from your hand, face up for a cost, and cast for free on a later turn. Conven exiled face up from your hand, cast on a later turn. Without paying its mana cost. Oh! What? I don't... So you put it into exile from your hand. I get how it works. And you can cast it on a later turn without paying its mana cost. So with Slickshot Show Off, you don't have to put it into play right away. You can, like, save it until you have a flurry of spells or something. But you're giving up on a point of damage to do that, so I wonder if that's, like, ever worth it. Or you can, like, protect it so that you can have counter magic up when you play it. That's so sweet. That's cool. Okay. Being in for those late game plans you might be had. I'm just gonna look at Fibblethip again because plot. I don't know Do how it works. Whatever. So you can look at the top. The top card of your library has plot. Oh, and you can plot them from the top of your library. Okay, that makes sense. That card seems sweet. Exiled from your hand, face up for a cost, and cast for free on a later turn. Yep. Convenient for those late game plans you might be hatching. Hatching. Slickshot yeah. Show Off is perfect to store on the side until later so you can surprise your opponent with haste and a power yeah, buff for all non-creature spells that come after it. You might not think we got much in the way of laws out in Thunder Just Junction. marveling at the art. We got a few. For instance, targeting your opponents, their stuff, and or graveyard is referred to as a crime. It's a crime. Here's a tip. Just because they're called crimes doesn't mean anyone will stop you from committing one. And in fact, oh my God. crime pays. <laughs> Oh shoot, I didn't look at what this card was. Referred to as a crime. Ah. For instance, target. Deal X damage to target creature, create a number of. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Targeting your opponent. Yeah. Just because they're called crimes doesn't mean that's anyone will stop spell. you from committing one. From committing and in one. fact, crime pays. Crime pays. Free Strider Lookout allows you to look at the. So it's three mana, three, three reach. Already pretty decent. When you can make crime, look at the top five. You can put a land on the battlefield tapped. Nice. Top five cards of your library when you commit a crime. And Holy cow is a card. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hard bristle bandit is a I love this artwork. This artwork is sick. Two mana, one, one. You can tap for mana. Nice. Oh, it's a common. When you commit to crime, untap it. Neat. Two drop that taps for mana and can be untapped each time you commit a crime once per turn. Magda the Horde Master will take you a treasure for committing. When you commit a crime, create a tap treasure. Nice. 
Once a turn, sack three treasures, create a 4 4 scorpion dragon. Crime. Turn in three treasures and she'll rustle you up your very own 4 4 red scorpion with dragon haste. with flying and haste. Nice. And Gisa, the hell. Gisa's here? Oh my gosh, I thought it was Gisa. Yeah, that makes sense. Five mana, four, four, war two, pay two life. Oh, both. Skeletons get two plus, well, plus one. When you commit crime, you create two of them? Nice. Razor, true to her name, allows you to create two tap, two, two, blue and black zombie rogue nice. creature tokens whenever you commit a crime. This mythic outlaw not only creates additional creatures, oh, it's a warlock too. she even buffs them too. This it's no not. wonder she's got a wanted price on her head. Most abilities that reward you for crime trigger only once each turn, but a single crime sets all of them off. Fill your board with outlaws and yep. you'll be in for a raucous time. Nice. With Thunder Junction, the cunning really can have it all. While you're here, why not go on a spree? Ooh. Cards with spree are modal instant and sorceries that have a menu of options, each with an additional cost. The more you choose, the better results you get. The first okay. option of unfortunate. Choose one or more additional costs. So it's plus two in a black, plus one mana. Oh, so I'll bet you some of the costs are like discard a card or something. So you can kill a creature at instant speed, nice. Or you and you can do both, and you get a one one. That's cool. And the mercenary can buff things. That's pretty powerful. An accident allows you to destroy a target creature, and you can follow it up by creating a one one red mercenary creature. Nice game. artwork Maybe for the you mercenary. Maybe want to be more lucrative and less tying someone to the train tracks. The first option of great train heist. Un okay. Untap all creatures you control. There's an additional combat phase. Nice. Creatures get plus one plus one and gain first strike. Nice. This is just like fancy kind of kicker almost. <laughs> or just like a cost ex adder. Bridget oh, you can get treasures. Nice. Untaps all your creatures. Perfect for getting your posse together. Cast posse. during your combat to set up a second swipe at the loot. Not to mention your opponent's life total. Yep. Then you can follow it up with buffing those creatures as they prepare for the heist. And yep. lastly, to ensure the success of your stick up, you get to ride away with newly created treasure tokens. Nice. Take your pick or choose all three. That's the excitement of going on a spree. Oh my of course, gosh, the rhyme. Once you finish your crime spree, you're going to want to get out of Thunder Junction for a spell before all that law breaking blows back on you. You don't want to die standing up. There's another what mechanic. You need is something with a little giddy up. Luckily, we've got you covered. Mounts are creatures. There is a mount mechanic? Oh my gosh. Deals combat damage. You may sacrifice a creature that saddled it this turn. If you do draw X cards, saddle one. Oh, so it's kind of like crewing, but you have to, oh my. Why, I wish, oh man. I almost wish there was just one less mechanic just so we could have more cards with each mechanic. ...that get a bonus if ridden into battle. And saddle is an ability mounts have. Tap any number of other creatures you control with total power N or more and the mount becomes saddled until end of turn. Yep. Look out when saddling a mount as dangerous as the Gitrog Ravenous Ride. The great sacrifice comes great rewards. So, so the Gitrog deals combat damage. You can sack a creature. If you draw cards, put excellence. Nice. The rider beware. And speaking of things to look out for. Ooh. Where else could Thunder Junction make a splash than on the frontier of the Commander Battlefield? Commander Battlefield. New game <laughs> experience called Bounties. Bounties. There are 12 bounty cards that are shuffled together and placed in the middle of the table. At the oh, beginning of the third turn, mechanic. the top bounty card is revealed. Each bounty lays out how you go about collecting the reward. Oh, the first reward creates a treasure token and increases each turn it goes unclaimed, right up to a maximum reward of two treasures and drawing a card. Wow. That's a mighty fine deal. There are some real scoundrels in these commands. Shoot, decks. the sheriff is a card? To play as nothing but the bad Lazav! The most wanted commander deck might be right for you. This deck's got it all. I'm going to skip so this part because I'm not a commander player. Stella Lee Wildcard. Yuma. Deck that focuses on casting. Gaunty's here? Nice. For their live zone own by. Your opponent's okay. cards at a discount? Not a bad deal. <laughs> Tumbleweed? The art is cool. High noon. What the heck? What is this? Okay, that doesn't look like he's ready for a duel. Oh, they're gonna draw a whip? 
<laughs> what is this section of the debut video? Kellen the Kid. Oh my gosh. I found out who it was. Now it's time to discover who I am. Oh my gosh, Kellen. Kellen looks so much older than his previous ones. We've seen Kellen just chilling in Wilds of Eldraine. We've seen Kellen as a detective. We've seen Kellen as someone that's exploring the Lost Caverns of Hixalon. It's like a whole Kellen arc. He's just everywhere, roaming around. Flying lifelink, 3 mana, 3-3. Three, three. Cast a spell from under than your hand. You can cast a permanent spell from your hand. If you don't, you can put a land. That's pretty neat. Has it that Kellen the Kid has been following his father across the multiverse, all the yep. way from Eldraine? Yep. Was Oko yep, more than he bargained for? I doubt it. He must what? be his father's son, but only time will tell if he really belongs to Oko's band of outlaws. Which brings us to our ringleader, Oko. Kellen's Oko. dad, and gang boss to those miscreants I introduced. The art on the right is so cool. He's riding an elk. Oh my gosh. So, draw two cards. If you've committed a crime, discard a card. Otherwise, discard two cards. Create an elk. Each other permanent you control, create a copy. Nice. Introduced you to earlier. He so passed cool. through Eldraine too. Only I get the impression they weren't too sorry to see the back side of him. <laughs> when Kellen first showed up, Oko acted the part of the loving father, but he's only looking to get whatever he wants. And his son isn't the only thing oh, returning no. in the past. Oko likes to celebrate his old infamies in his <laughs> style. What? And so do we. And we can draft this card, or is it just like being put in for commander? <laughs> Every pack of Thunder Junction has a breaking news card. A new what? treatment exclusively for crimes. There's one in every play booster with foils. <gasps> what? You can play Mana Drain in this set? I'm sure it's going to be incredibly rare, but oh my gosh, if I get Mana Drain, it's going to be so funny. Also, the gap between Oko, Mana Drain, and Clear Shot is insane. Like, Clear Shot is a good card, and it was especially good in the format that it was, like, originally in because the cards were a little bit weaker back then. But oh my gosh, if someone Mana Drains me in draft... Oh my gosh, that's just brutal. ...appearing in both play and collector boosters. And we've also got <sighs> textured foils of the mythic breaking news cards with a unique textured gloss varnish and black raised foil. <laughs> you can physically feel the treatment on the card. <laughs> These only come this as a collector so booster funny. exclusive. <laughs> oh my gosh. The Vault. Ogo's Rackers. next big score is whatever's in The Vault. But the even vault. with the baddest gang of outlaws he's put together, it's going to be a tough job. Still, nice. it isn't much good assembling a crew of legendary criminals. One last job. If you don't even try to break into an equally legendary vault. Boom Betting bots. it won't be long before Betrayal. Oko makes his move. The prize is worth it, I reckon. Torpor Orb? Nice. Devour the hope of a world and it will bow before you. Vaultborn Tyrant. When another creature enters the battlefield, you drink, gain three and draw. If it dies, if it's not a token, create a token that's a copy of it. Oh my gosh. The vault contains 30 extra cards that can be found in play Ooh, and collector boosters. Nice. These cards also come in their own special vault treatment. Whoa. Vault treatment cards can be opened only in collector boosters. Five vault cards have a raised foil eclipse treatment. The frames of these foils are also raised. A booster fun doesn't end there, though. Booster Special fun. guests are returning in Outlaws of Stoneforge Mystic. Oh my gosh. Thunder Junction. Non foils will be available in play boosters with foil versions in collector boosters. Gosh. This debut was a lot less focused on the cards. Well, stranger, I think you're just them. about ready to make a name for yourself in stranger. Thunder Junction. The lands are Your crime cool. spree is just getting started. Saddle up to your local game store for pre-release starting the weekend of April 12th. Nice. And on Arena, April 16th. Otherwise, we'll see rum, you rum, on rum, April 19th when Thunder Junction will be available everywhere. And if you're curious about how things shake out Plan with Yoko and Kellen, story episodes are currently online. Remember, keep your guard up. Colossal no one in Thunder worm. Junction is quite who they seem to be. Three steps ahead. <gasps> no. Ashiok? Oh my gosh, it's Jace! 
Oh my gosh, Jace is back! There's a second Planeswalker! They said there was only gonna be one Planeswalker in every set, and then they broke the rule immediately! Oh, I don't care though. Jace is sick! Two mana, blue blue. You can't cast this spell during your first, second, or third turns of the game. I like that. That's kind of a cool little twist. Because he's reawakened. He starts off asleep. Draw a card, then discard a card. You may exile an online card with mana value three or less from your hand. If you do, it becomes plotted. Oh, so you can then play it for free later. Nice. When you cast a spell copy it, you may choose new targets for copy. Oh my gosh. That's such a cool play pattern. So you can just plus one of them a few times, exile a few cards, and then you copy all of them. Wow. I think... I don't know. I think you can only copy... I mean, you can't really copy... Uh, um, permanent spells. I mean, sometimes there's cards that say, like, if you copy a permanent, you get a token, but I don't think that's how it works in general. But that's so cool. This is a really cool... Jace coming back in the same set as Raska. Nice. Looks like Jace is a little bit out, out of it, though. Because of what the Phyrexians did to him. Well... That was pretty exciting trailer. I mean, a lot of little advertisement stuff, but a lot of the cards look cool, and I'm excited to see the set uh, in action. I'll, <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you next time.